Huh? It's the way that in the future, your kids will be dying, fighting for the last supply of oxygen before the world turns into a giant greenhouse. Why? Because of climate change. In a decade's time, trees could be nothing but of the past, an AI dream, outdated and overrated. The only remnants of fish could be the hollowed out echoes of fossils, fish found in the Himalayas, floods so high we build to the sky, the once plethora of Oxygen could be only found in cans, sold for a leg and an arm. The economic dream of success and global health could be crushed by the foot of climate change. But what is climate change? Climate change is the extreme and frequent shifts in weather patterns and temperatures that we are experiencing right now, or can be simply classified as global warming or the warming of the atmosphere. This is due to an overabundance of carbon dioxide resulting in an increased average temperature and more extreme weather patterns. These weather events may be normal due to natural causes such as the solar cycle, but as of right now, people are the main cause. Humans are increasing the Earth's climate and temperature by burning fossil fuels, cutting down trees, and farming livestock. This adds an enormous amount of greenhouse gases to those already occurring in the atmosphere, hence the greenhouse gas effect and global warming. 2011 to 2020 was the warmest decade ever recorded, with a global average temperature reaching 1.1 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial level of 2019. Humanity's global warming is increasing at the rate of 0.2 degrees per decade and will continue to do so. This makes it much more hotter and harder to do outdoor jobs like construction work or even having a picnic with your family. Wildfires also start and spread more easily in hotter temperatures. Weather-related disasters displace 23 million people a year. That is leaving so many more people vulnerable to poverty. These extreme weather changes can also cause so many other huge problems such as heavy rainfall, frequent droughts, and ocean levels rising. Coastal and island communities will be threatened. Floods caused by these rising waters will also sweep away urban slums and destroy homes. Ugh, enough of that. I feel like I just aged 10 years talking about that. Now on to the solutions. The solution to this problem starts with you. K-pop San, stop re-sleeving your photo cards and stop bulk buying albums. This will not only make your wallet a little bit bigger, but it will also cut down on the plastic and pollution that will end up in the landfills anyways. Are you an avid traveler? Cut down your carbon emissions by taking public transportation or even investing in a good bike. But if you're really rich, you can, you can invest in a fully automatic vehicle like a Tesla. Not sponsored by Tesla. Ever wants to be vegan? Now's the time. Today, around 60% of the world's agricultural land is used for livestock grazing. Raising cattle and sheep creates vast amounts of methane. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that badly affects the earth. Are you a political gal? One of the best ways to improve climate change is to help those who will fight against it get into office. This means voting for legislation and politicians that aid against the detrimental effects of climate change. Of course, we are too young to vote, but educating our parents who can vote, vote for who will make a future a better place will help. After all, it's us who will live to see it. Vote for me! Last but not least, by educating others about the problem via social media or better yet, directly to your elected officials, you can send a message saying that you care about the warming world. What's even better, showing cartoons like WALL-E, which highlight a dystopian world where humans have grown lazy and polluted their world to extinction, also help the problem at hand, potentially reducing global warming one person at a time. The Earth won't magically save itself because you didn't ride a car to school for a day. Climate change will continue to spiral into a larger and larger problem until humanity cannot deal with it any longer. Like pulling weed out of your garden before it kills all your plants, fixing climate change while we still can will not only help us, but help our children, who will actually live to see the future, breathe clean air in a clean world. This and the water! The wa Did you?